Today's podcast is brought to you by Blue Chew. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code GOODTHINGS at checkout and you'll pay just $5 in shipping. It's also brought to you by Tommy John Underwear. Shop Tommy John's Cyber Monday sale now. Get 33% off everything plus free shipping at tommyjohn.com slash Nash. And lastly, NetSuite. Go to netsuite.com slash Nash for a special one-of-a-kind financing program. If you had to pick one of your exes <laughs> to, to be with the rest of your life, who would you pick? Um, are you talking to me or Scott? You've got the exes here. <laughs> so does he. I've got exes. I don't know who his exes is. I only know one. It's like a weird question YouTube for me, though, because like... Yeah, it is weird. That's why I asked it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, today's podcast is also brought to you by SeatGeek. Use my code Jason, and you're going to get $20 off your first order. Guys, what's up? Welcome to All Good Things. My guests today are my good friends, Todd Smith Good and Scotty Sire. Scott, is it okay that I said Todd's name first? Um, it's okay. I thought that maybe you were referring to me and you just forgot that my name is Scott, so you called me Todd. A lot of people get us confused sometimes. Yeah, we're, we just did a huge stream. A lot of viewers, concurrent viewers. How many? Getting, I've heard all about this stream. How many concurrent viewers? 15,000. 15,000. 15,000, 15, 20,000, yeah. Real. Yeah. And what were you guys doing? Were you taking OnlyFans <sighs> picks or were you? We, we well, were playing foosball. Intense oh. game of foosball. <laughs> Human foosball. Not like foosball with like, you know. Watching friends, Joey and Chandler playing foosball. Yeah. This is and foosball with their bodies. It's like an actual creative idea. JC came up with it. <laughs> yeah. And like, you know, something no, that you would been, never think it's of. It's never been done before. Do. Basically, JC's like, yeah, that's f- up. I did a foosball video. You guys were in it. We what? did it in your backyard. Really? I know. Yeah. You, you know what oh. happened? You know how the idea was brought to JC? How? Like, initially, Todd and I were talking about streaming, and I was like, JC sets up streams the way Jason sets up YouTube videos. Right. So, like, JC would do that human foosball thing. As a Twitch stream, <laughs> and then Todd goes to I got drunk dinner with, at dinner with JC right. and says, "You should do human foosball." <laughs> and then and then he goes to me and he's like, "I think JC's gonna do my idea." <laughs> <laughs> it's not your idea. I gave him my idea. I said I sent him your video. I said Jason Nash did it first. Well, I love JC. So I sent, I sent him. It the sounds video. like JC did it better than me. He just did it. Exactly the same. Yeah, was but he, did you call the same guy? It was the same know. foosball thing. Was it the same thing? I think so. What did it he was, pay? I I, we no don't idea. know. Hmm. But Scott and I were the stars. You were. Yeah. And that's why today so you guys are so. I'm beat. You're, you're, I'm tired. You're fired up. My legs. Uh, I'm. I'm halfway there, but I'm still fired up. I think same. For who's, Scott. who's a better athlete out of the two of you? It's, it depends. I, I, think I think Todd is a better athlete when it comes to team sports, definitely. But yeah. if it, when it came down to wrestling back in the day, he beat me up early on. Later on, I was able to beat him up because I got bigger. Mm-hmm. And, and, and now, oh, I did. I did a little trend when I was in high school. <laughs> but you know, you did just the, <laughs> just, 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 just the pills. <laughs> just Don't the they pills. drug test you? No, no, not in high school. Oh, not in high school. You did like the sneaky way where you can just take the pills. And not and, like the actual could, needle. Did you it was, notice that Scott was getting bigger? Yeah, oh. I came back to the wrestling room and he was in his underwear. Caught kind of fool, and he's walking around like, <laughs> "Yo, what's up?" And he had like little tats, like a little. little Does it help tats. your cock? Huh? Does it help your cock? No, no I'm just saying he was a little not. fluffed. Probably, well, from, probably from re- probably from wrestling, he's a little fluffed up. You know, Scott, have you ever thought about no that. has your jealousy of Todd ever gotten so bad where you wanted to kill him? Jealousy of Todd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of jealousy of jealousy what? for what? <laughs> okay, never mind. I mean, <laughs> sure, sure. I'm jealous of some things that Todd okay. has handed to him that I don't get. He's handed. handed. What, like my pool skills? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said it. I'm fucking gangster at pool. Did you play pool today at David's house? No, we didn't have time. Oh, you we didn't had to play human foosball. Oh, right on. <laughs> that's Sam and Colby's. <laughs> Do you ever get jealous of Todd? I don't, I don't really get that jealous because yeah. I... I feel like I'm too old to get jealous. I've been so... I, I, I've been so beaten down over the years... And have accepted my. I really have accepted my lot in life. He, de- he definitely has. I feel like since like you know Jason has kids, he's really grasped the art of not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck is a great thing. That doesn't mean that you're not like ambitious though. You're yeah, still very ambitious. Not, and not ambitious, well, ambitious right? and jealousy are they different? <clears throat> They're definitely I think so, different. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, the way say, that you were positioning your answer seemed like yeah. you were saying like I just kind of like lost like my my willpower <laughs> to fucking care about anything. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I feel like you, you, you care about stupid shit, but you really want to put food on the table for your kids. Yeah. You know, so like, for example, we go to the beach and work out and get sweaty and roll around in the sand. For example, your <laughs> very nice $100,000 Tesla, you get in all wet and sandy without a shirt, not giving a fuck where the sand goes. <laughs> right. But right. at the same time, one of your ex-partners screws you on a podcast and you start your own <laughs> podcast and you got to put food on the table, you know? So, you you know, there's ins and outs of it. One of your ex-partners. Dave, if, if you're watching, <laughs> that was Todd who said that. 
<laughs> I think he knows his place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the smart You end. fucking asshole. <laughs> no, I love love David. I like you, David. Me too. New David? Yeah. I love Leisure David. Yeah. He's just, you know, he's really into his house now. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. It's good that he's into that house. It was pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. No, he like, he, he was putting up plants today. <laughs> like himself? Well, Taylor was, but <laughs> Dave was directing her. And, and I said, oh my God, you know you remind me of? And he goes, Marnie. <laughs> and I go, yeah, that, that's my ex-wife. Because my ex-wife is so into her house. Like, and that, that's who he's turning into. Like, used to be your house too, right? A 50-year-old woman. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> who, who, who thumbs through Architectural Digest <laughs> for ideas, you know? You know what? Who has a Pinterest. It's crazy, though, because I guess he deserves to do it after all that. Yeah, all he videos does. he put out. All yeah, the sacrifice. He does. Yeah, and it, it's, it's actually nice that he cares about his house. It's yeah. like, oh, he has like a passion. Yeah, it's great. Honestly, I have no passion for my house. You walk in my house, there's like shit cats stains everywhere. on the carpet and just fucking, fucking sneezing furniture everywhere, everywhere. scratching your balls and the cats. But I don't yeah. own my house. So if I owned my house, I maybe would care a little bit. Scott's more, house yeah. is great. Your house is so good. You're such a great house. It's so fun in there. And you have a gym. Yeah. Big backyard, gym. big pool. Big cock. And if you mess it up, it's like. It's like not your house. Kind of like whatever, right? Yeah. That's why when I scratch my Range Rover, I'm like, oh, it's a lease. You've had that Range Rover for some time. It's my last year, I think. Yeah. What are you going to get? I don't know. Bugatti. <laughs> just got to get another one. I don't I know why you didn't just it. pay off the rest of the one that I got for you from that YouTube video. You're like, I'm just going to get a new one. Because I wanted a new one. Because Range Rovers break down after like four or five years. Ah. Uh, they fucking go to, go to shit. Uh, yeah. And I was riding high. So I wanted a new one. Ooh. Stiff right? neck. Well, how neck. come, I guess the question I'd want to know is, how come you guys don't start a podcast? Like, I can't, you I started a podcast it. with someone else, and you started a podcast with someone else. And I think I was kind of befuddled, like, <laughs> oh, why wouldn't they Go together. You know, if David was here, he would ask me why he used the word befuddled. But I, <laughs> and Joe. I enjoy, yeah, and Joe. Because they just don't get it. It goes right over their head. My reason for not wanting to do a podcast with Todd originally was, I was like, I don't want to start another Vlog Squad podcast. Like, there was already you and David. There was Matt and Mike and right. Carly and Aaron and, like, all these people who already had this, like, Vlog Squad duo podcast uh. thing, Zane and Heath. And I was like, if we do that, then we're just another, like... Like a, we're gonna be a side note dorks. on everybody else's podcast. I see, I see. And I was like, let me try something different. Let me have my little brother up and like do a podcast with him. And then I realized that I'm just like not good at podcasts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't like putting. What do you mean? Of course you're good at podcasts. I don't like asking people to come and sit on a podcast with me. I like, I'm like, if I don't have a lot of views, then I'm like, it's not really worth it for them to come like be on the podcast. So I feel like guilty about asking. All right. I, I just. Yeah, that's my how head we feel here stuff. as well. I guess you're doing great over here. <laughs> yeah, your podcast's crushing it. So, well, you had Bully Joan. Bully Joan. Bully Joan. Yes, the uh, Indian actress. <laughs> Bully Joan. <laughs> Who's been your favorite guest? My favorite guest has been Eric. Oh, yeah. He was, was great. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. He was he was really good just because he's done so much. Mm. Sound like you said someone with an earache. <laughs> Ear, yeah. Earache. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Scott's done a lot. He's put out two albums. <laughs> Over 100, 200 YouTube videos. Three albums. He's toured twice, three albums. Three albums? Three. I love yeah. seeing you on tour, man. Those were so fun to go see you play. Because when, when Scott would perform, and Todd, Todd was there too, performing. Scott and Todd performed. <laughs> <laughs> you know I always do that with him? I go, Scott, how's the CBD company? <laughs> Todd goes, I'm a part owner too! <laughs> no, but when yeah. you guys would perform, that was so fun because we'd have really good seats. And then we just like, and the songs are really good. And you guys are like up there really doing it. Music's the best. That's my one thing in life where I'm like, ah, I wish. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> are you still making music? I'm still making music. It's just like a really slow process right now. I feel like there's been sort of like a couple years of me being like, what the hell am I doing with my life right now? Well, I feel like you're doing a lot. Yeah, but that's the problem. I think you like, it's like having your hand everywhere being like all right I'm ready. that is bad in life I, I, I agree on something that was yeah. the big big problem with me why <clears throat> I never had any money until I was 45 because because I had my hand in everything I was like I'm gonna be a stand-up I'm gonna be an actor mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a chef and and, <laughs> and I was not good at anything or nothing was nothing was like stick punching through jack of all trades master of none like i feel like yeah. i can do everything okay but i'm not like super passionate or great at any one or two things like human foosball but like you're great at it but great but yeah it's not gonna like when i really that. focused on youtube and like that's what i was doing it was like all youtube yep. and making music i was like i have two things this is what i'm focused on instagram pictures was like a, a foot like a side note yeah you know, you're just like all right i post a picture when i got something cool now it's like do we have to make a TikTok and like try to get a good Instagram photo and like 
film like a bunch of Snapchats? Do I schedule to make a music a song? Do I go do a podcast? And like, there's like so many different avenues to yeah. pursue that I'm like, play which, which one do I focus on? What about you? How's your music? Uh, it's good. I have a, like four or five songs that are ready to go, but so conceited. once they're ready to go, it's like it's November, so it's, you shouldn't put out music in November apparently, unless you're Taylor Swift. Oh, really? So I'm Is gonna that put what out. They say you yeah. learned that from our old manager. Well, I did when I was trying to work on my first album. They were like, "You don't want to put it out during like October, November, and December. That's when all the big boys are putting big their music boys out. Put them out. Uh, you get the holiday, Drake, Christmas you music, get Taylor Swift, Snoopy. Oh my god, those Christmas songs." And so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna put some songs in January February, and Scott's Snoopy. on one of the songs or he helped me he helped me write the second verse so we might have him on the on that song. Where, How would where, I be on it? Would I like come back and like help? Well, you'd track have to you'd over have to track it? your vocals. Yeah. Oh wow. Where's your friendship lie right now? You two. You've been, how long have you been friends? Lies for? right here on this couch. Well, we're sitting right now. You've been friends for ten years. Ten years. Fifteen. Twelve years. Uh, twelve years. Thirteen years. About. I mean, like we knew each other during high school a little bit. We'd met each other in elementary school, but we weren't, like, friend friends. Yeah. We started being friends when we started drinking together, mm -hmm. which was, like, 18. Doing an ecstasy. Who was the first one to start drinking? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like Todd may be a little bit earlier than me. Who was like, who, who was Who was more of a rebellious type? I think I, it started off me being the more wild one when it came to, like, drinking and drugs. Oh, and really? Like, yeah. And then... We just kind of picked up steam. We bounced <laughs> off of each other's energy. and Guys, today's podcast is also brought to you by SeatGeek. I love SeatGeek. I love the people there. They've been with me for so long. Uh, they recently sent me to a uh, Harry Styles concert. I surprised uh, my assistant, Jess, with tickets. We were 10 feet away from Harry Styles. I mean, I'm not even the hugest Harry Styles fan. But after that night, I was like, okay, I get it. The guy's massively talented. You know, when you go to a concert, it doesn't matter where your seats are. It's such a good experience. It's such a... An emotional experience. It's just a great way to clear your head. And that's why I love SeatGeek. Go see concerts. Go see a magician. Go see uh, just about anything. You can get tickets to anything in their sporting events. Christmas is coming up, guys. How nice would it be to put two NBA tickets in your dad's stocking stuffer? I mean, I can't think of a better gift than live music or, or live events. And that's what SeatGeek gives you. They're a great app. They're a great company. They have a great interface. The app works like a charm. Never had a problem with the app get the tickets fast they're right there they're on your phone you walk in you scan it i mean incredible all right my thanks to seat geek for sponsoring and go and right now use my code jason if you haven't tried seat geek yet use my code jason and you're gonna get 20 dollars off your first order what was your first like thing that you did that was like super like oh my god like i don't know like you felt like you reached a lot of people go ahead hit it what was the first thing that you did was it natalina um, it was when he, he first infected a college with chlamydia <laughs> <laughs> It's spread throughout the states, man. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty, pretty infectious. That was. <laughs> that's when I thought I made it. You know, honestly. Honestly, actually, yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, Long Beach State, man. Uh, girls are crazy. And you were finishing your college when I we finished were. My, I finished when college. We were living together. When we first moved. We called it the Denny House because that was the street we lived off of. Forty-two, forty-six Denny. Well, you're giving the whole California. address. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was finishing college. Uh, like my last like year and a half, I moved in with Zane, Heath, Elton, and Scott. Yeah. It was like a frat house. It was it was but, so insane the way I, that he would commute. I was like, yeah, I commuted to school. How far of a drive was it? It was like in traffic, like an hour, over an hour. Yeah, no, no traffic. It was like 25 minutes. We had classes like three times a week. Yeah, it was yeah two three times a week. It was in Carson. What's your degree in? I minor I minor in creative writing. Is that important to you to get your degree? Yeah, I yeah. just I felt like I should finish it. Not just because my par my parents wanted me to, but I just felt like I needed to do it, mm -hmm. just to get off the back, like the monkey off the back, you know. Mm -hmm. It felt good. I I got to graduate and walk and everything. Got wasted at the graduation. You did. Yeah, with my buddy Tyler Paul. Tyler, hey, shouts Tyler. <laughs> did you graduate college? I uh, I graduated in my mind. I left when I wanted to, <laughs> and I succeeded in life without going to college. So I graduated with all honors. I was honored to leave. We could have had you, uh, we would have all been better off if you took a class in finance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if taking a class in finance would make me any better. Like, I know what I should be doing, I just don't I do think, it. I think we would have all lost that money in the crypto. Oh! If, we, if, if, if maybe you'd taken the finance. You know how much money I lost from crypto? We don't all how blame much? it. Well, sometimes we blame J-Boys. I'm down $500,000 from my crypto and NFT investments. After <laughs> making a $1.1 million 
deal to sell my back catalog of music. You sold your fucking back catalog for $1.1 million? I did last year. What? And then I fucking blew it all on crypto thinking I was going to 10 exit. You sold your back catalog for a million dollars? That's insane. There were some, there you know was some big hitters yeah. on there. There, some there are some bangers on there. But yeah. um, I was like, you know what? I'm still making music. So like I sell this back catalog. I'll have a bunch of money. I can put money down on a house. Right. And then I can just keep making music. I'll like, I'm going to get hits again. I'm going to keep ha- I'm gonna keep making hits, right? So this is good for me. But um, I sold my music. Now I don't get that monthly check. I blew it all on crypto. Didn't put money down on a house. So finance class, yeah, you're probably right. It would be a good idea. We, we all lost money on crypto and... and- there was a there was a coin that we all put our money into, mm-hmm. and I lost like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I think I lost like fifty two. Yeah, fifty two point five. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Well, I'm really sorry about that. But I, yeah. no, it's not <laughs> your it's fault. Yeah, and, we, yeah. and we all and yeah, to your credit, we all had an opportunity to sell. I was on a golf course trying to sell, and it wouldn't let me sell because it went fucking, down. Yeah, and we were all freaking out, and then it did come back. Yep. Oh yeah. For like a day, and our friend Jay sent that text like, "Listen, this is your opportunity." Get the fuck out you now. Know, you know what's funny is my so, friend... And he so, was right. We should have all gotten out on that day, but we didn't. My yeah. finance friend, Armin, God bless his soul, he's he's helped us with happy hour. He's like, I told him about Ho, she's like, get the fuck out right now. You fucking idiot. You get the fuck out. You get the fuck out. Yeah. Every day to me. I'm like, no, like, I'm going to make money with everyone. Did not know. He's, yeah. I've, finance people told me that too. Yeah. Get the fuck out. God damn it. Well, it's, it's literally just <clears throat> gambling. It's like, all right. Maybe and but it's also like knowing when to pull it out with with those coins. It's said. like fucking. It was when it was doing really well. I had a show in New Jersey, and Heath and Mariah were really sweet. They drove from Pennsylvania to surprise me in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And like when you do a stand up show, like you don't have your band with you. You're all by yourself. It's not. Yeah. It's not fun. You're just you're there for four nights. And they showed up, and I was just like, oh my god, so sweet. And then Heath and I were backstage after, and he was like, I was like, dude coin it's doing so good <laughs> and he was like i know and he was like we're gonna make so much fucking money <laughs> dude we had all these i mean we had so many like these empty promises of it getting on a big exchange and all this crypto shit that was like right. we thought we had this like in had with some of the, the back end oh, people who worked with you think it. we're gonna get sued in the, or we're gonna <laughs> like kim kardashian down, down the line no i never promoted it no, that's true. I know. I'm I mean, just, I'm just kidding. You guys never played yeah, I mean, yeah. I made, a, I a, I made a billboard that said, hoge to the moon. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, at one point, if I just took my money out, I felt like I couldn't, though, because I had, like, I was so, like, in tight with their community that I was, yeah. like, I'd feel like shit if I just, like, pulled my money out of this. But at one point, it was, like, ten times what I put in. Yeah. And that's fucking crazy to think about. I talked to someone in crypto the other day, and he said it's all going to come back. Yeah, hopefully. I yeah. still got my money in Hoosh, so yeah. Hopefully it and comes back. Yeah. Oh, that's that's wild. It's wild times. Remember when we lived together? Yeah. yeah. That was also wild times. I missed that. What was what was the you guys, that you guys really I always credit I feel bad. I always credit David for saving my life, but you guys really saved my life too. Oh. I, should, I probably should give you more credit. I should probably say your names on a podcast. You yeah. don't have to. Yeah, you don't have no, to. I you should. can do it next week. I appreciate it. Just that. no one knows who you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe if you mention us, 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 mention us a few huh? times how do we save your life what, um, what was going oh, down i used to live off the food that scott bought i think i told this story right <laughs> I used to live off you waters. always keep the the house stocked with waters <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite line when wyatt would come over i go go thank scott for all the water that, you drink. <laughs> that was i think that was some of the best years because was it was like an best. office it was you editing scott and i we had our own cubicle yeah david in the living room yeah and we're back to back yeah you know, just jerking each other off ordering food that it was, was a, fun. That was fun, and it was, like, an interesting thing for me when I moved out because, like, when I moved out, I <clears> wasn't really ready to give up my roommate lifestyle. But right. I'm not uh, ready. Well, I went to Scott, and I found, I found a house, and I said, do you want to live here? And he said, yeah, can I, can I bring, you know, my girlfriend and Todd? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure, if they're willing to live with me. Well, you know what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and I, I fully expected both of them to be like, uh, no, that's okay. No, that was that was a they great in. fucking setup. It was for the best. Everybody. I remember great talking house. to David at Chipotle. He's like, "Yo, you're moving into an apartment? Why? Live with Jason and Scott." I'm like, "Okay, that sounds great." <laughs> yeah, he wanted us all in one place. That was the. <laughs> that was so fun. That was a clutch was house. Like, they did the walkthrough with the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> remember the landlord didn't do it. I had to do. Remember it. how crazy our landlords were and how creepy the guy was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah, would yeah. he? Oh. Wait, I don't remember. Dude, how w- creepy was the guy? Weird. What did he do to you? 
He wanted, <laughs> the landlord wanted to make the house into a museum for people to come and charge <laughs> so they could come see where the vlogs were made. Oh, and that, that was, and I, was you like, about, I don't think you'll ever get the zoning. Are you talking about Alta View or Bellingham? Bellingham. Because yeah. we had the walls painted when we moved out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had the wall. I, I had to do the walkthrough with him, and it was like, <laughs> was like Satan written on the wall. And he was those, like, "All right, it's good." Those those rooms got dark because of the how dark the painting was. It made it seem really tight and closed off. Yeah, it got kind of scary. Yeah, because he was demolishing the house anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then he did the walkthrough, and then I was like, "Okay, you, you're not going to charge me anything because you're demolishing the house." And then he he like looked at something in the corner and he was like, uh, this is chipped. He's like, you owe me two hundred dollars. <laughs> I was like, okay. Remember when we, we threw the firework in the pool and we yeah. we broke the pool and we, we blamed it on an earthquake because the pool drained because of a crack. I mean, I don't know if that really broke the pool, but it, I mean, it was a powerful firecracker yep. that went in there. <laughs> we were like, why is the pool draining? Like after a couple of days, we we're like, it's just like going down. What's going on? It was so fun to like to have another run at like. A college lifestyle Yeah Like it was really fun And I loved it I loved every minute of it And I didn't care What anyone thought And now I care more What people think But back then I think I was just like <laughs> I was What's so funny Jess? Because Jeremy's like Now I would never Love you guys Because I grew up in No no I would I would live with you guys now It's just the kids are you, I, I would like, like Brett needed a place to live I was like He can come live here And I'm like The kids <laughs> If I had a four, hey, why you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you're 16. My bad. Oh hey, couple years. <laughs> He'd be fun on the podcast. Oh yeah, he tells so such funny stories. <laughs> God damn. Um, okay, and so both of you are dating beautiful, talented women. Uh, they're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean with talented? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> They're both lovely, and you, you guys got lovely. very lucky in that department, didn't yeah. you? I got a dog in it. I actually had to work really hard for it. So, I so did I. Lucky, but I think we both had to work pretty hard in it. Really? I, str I was struggling. Yeah. You know how many times she denied me? Oh, really? I would be at Saddle Ranch, you know, grabbing her butt underneath the bar, and she's like, "Stop!" Like, yeah. <laughs> All right, like, stop. Yeah, stop. Okay. Such hard work. I'm like, <laughs> you know how many times I had to pursue. Stop. <laughs> was it like stop or was it like well, yeah? no it was like flirty stop <laughs> yeah it's, 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 the, the just, fucking billboard story and like b us being on tour like in New York and him wanting to fly home what's the story I wanted to fly home you flew home oh no we were on tour we were, in, we were in Boston what were we doing we were in Boston you just became single going on a rampage oh the rampage <laughs> you know, fucking a bunch of girls <laughs> what and so we're in Boston. God, you're going to make a lot of edits for ferrets. What do you mean? It's good. It's real life stuff. People no, want Scott's to hear. Scott's okay with it. Scott was I'm banging fine. chicks. <laughs> so was I. I was single. No, I wasn't. I'm kidding. You, 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 you guys. Wait, you weren't single when you were in uh, Who's really? got a higher single. body count here? Um, I play a game. You don't have to say the name. Higher body count? Yeah, what yeah. are you? You want to know body count? Like, what does it fucking matter? <laughs> What's your does it, body What does it fucking count? matter? I'm slut shaming. Right? Are you slut shaming right. me for my body count? Like, you don't what, have to tell me the we number. We didn't ask that fucking question. That's the stupidest fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it might be that high. <laughs> Guys, today's podcast is brought to you by Ground News. Guys, this is one of the most interesting platforms I've ever seen because it puts all the world's news into one place. With just one click or swipe, I can compare how stories are being covered by different news outlets. And here's really the amazing part. For every story, I get a data-driven analysis of the coverage. I can see bias, factuality, and ownership ratings for the news outlets reporting on a story. So I can quickly get a sense of whether the coverage is balanced. I can even follow specific locations or topics that I'm most interested in. For me, um, I love following what's going on uh, back home in Boston. I love staying abreast there uh, to know that my family is safe. And one of the most amazing things about Ground News is that you get data-driven analysis of the coverage. You can see bias, you can see factuality, and you can see ownership ratings for the news outlets reporting on the story. So you can quickly get a sense of whether the coverage is balanced or not.
Uh, you can even follow specific locations or topics that you're most interested in. Uh, for me, I love to stay abreast with what's going on here in California. Uh, we had a recent election. You know, there were two candidates uh, vying for a position here, and I, I was trying to stay abreast with that. And it comes in handy when you're able to read uh, reporters who have uh, different biases and, and make your own opinion, make your own informed opinion. And even Cooler Guys Ground News also highlights blind spots uh, so you can see uh, where the lopsided coverage is from each side of the political spectrum. Right now, guys, if you want to join me and up-level your news reading experience, go to ground.news slash Jason Nash. There's a limited time, 40% off. Wow. You're going to get 40% off their top tier plan this Black Friday, don't miss it. Go to ground.news slash Jason Nash. And my thanks to Ground News for sponsoring. Today's podcast is brought to you by Tommy John Underwear. Let me tell you something about Tommy John Underwear that's so great. Not only does it feel great when you put it on, but it lasts the whole day. So you put your underwear on after I work out like around 10 o'clock. I work for 12 hours. I'm usually working until 10 o'clock at night. And when I take them off at the end of the day, it's they're still, they feel like I just pulled them out of the drawer. And that's what I love about Tommy John. High quality underwear. And you guys have to get yourself a pair, especially with Christmas coming up. So go get yourself a pair today. Go get yourself a pair. It's Christmas. They're the perfect stocking stuffer and you will not be disappointed. Tommy John's Apollo men's underwear is made from ultra breathable performance grade dry release fabric that can withstand 100,000 rounds of machine applied friction with no holes or tears. Save hours of untucking and fumbling time a year with Tommy John's horizontal quick draw fly. Tommy John is overcoming the uncomfortable comfortable with premium fabrics, innovative fits, and problem-solving functionality that makes men and women feel comfortable in their skin. Men and women, okay? For the, This is not just for the boys. This slogan, no, Tommy John's slogan is not for the boys. It's for women too, and I love that. Shop Tommy John's Cyber Monday sale now. Get 33% off everything, plus free shipping at tommyjohn.com slash Nash. It's one of Tommy John's biggest sales of the year. 33% off everything, plus free shipping at tommyjohn.com slash Nash. See site for details. Thank you, guys. My thanks to Tommy John for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to Nash Nation Podcast. All good things. We are, we lie Where were we? We were talking Scott, about body Sire, count or something. Body count. Scott yeah. has fucked uh, 2,300. 147 girls. I just updated for our hand. And yeah. 7,895 yeah. guys. <laughs> you know we're going to make a clone of Willie of Scott's wiener? And oh, we're gonna, yeah. We're going to send it to uh, um, all the uh, stay-at-home moms around the country. I wanted to do that for a YouTube video once. Make a clone of Willie? Clone everyone's wiener, yeah. You should do it live, a live stream. <laughs> I, I got the clone of Willie just as like a funny purchase, and then when I started the OnlyFans, I was like, I have to do this because I don't want to actually like whip my actual dick out on there, but I will make the clone of Willie, and I will show you what it looks like in rubber form. <laughs> and it says, it says Why don't you sell it? Sorry, go ahead, Todd. No, no, go ahead. I might, depending on what people offer for it, maybe I'll keep making them and be like, all yeah, right. Like multiple. Here. People just... Take it. Around the country and the world just fucking themselves with your fucking sculpted <laughs> penis. Hey, man. Whatever. <laughs> How is the OnlyFans? Can you talk, can you talk about your OnlyFans? Sure. First I, can time talk, I can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. What, what can you say about it? It's what can I say sexy. about it? It's it's fun. I like it because when I post pictures, people are nice to me. Usually people are only nice to my girlfriend if I post stuff on Instagram and stuff like that. They're like, Scott, you look ugly, but your girlfriend looks hot. And I'm like, cool, you know? But they're all they're all super nice and supportive over there. They're like you're, it's you're brought, cool. It's brought us a lot closer. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're taking the photos. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do a photo shoot together where we rent an Airbnb and we you know bend over, show our holes, and each of us just take photos of each other. <laughs> we haven't done that yet. What? How much do you think you could make on OnlyFans if you really tried? Well, you don't promote it. I promote it on Snapchat occasionally. Yeah. Um, do you see a boost when you do that? Yes, but I, I kind of I hit this phase like I got to like three thousand three hundred and like forty subscribers at you one have point. Three thousand subscribers it, on OnlyFans. It dipped down to twenty eight hundred. That's really good. But yeah, so like after a month they expire. If people aren't happy with the content, they expire. Like, um, or they just might like forget, like not log in for a while. Um, but I do think that if I was to actually like kind of promote it, if if either one of us, I don't think Todd's promoted it once on anything, but. He has like a thousand people as well. There's like, there's, like, there's like a MySpace top eight thing on there, essentially where you can list your friends. So like uh -huh. I have Todd listed as one of my friends. And when I promote mine and people see it, they also see Todd has one in there. Like, if you make one, we'll put you on our friends list. 
God, I'm almost there, man. I mean, you have, you could do it. You have the body to. You know, the finances are not great. <laughs> it's really, there was like this stigma about it a couple of years ago. I was like, I made it just to see the back end. And the the original plan was to like make a YouTube see the video. Back end. They, they saw the back end. Too. Yeah. That, yeah. On the back end. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> the original plan was to like make a YouTube video where we're just like talking about the journey of like making an OnlyFans. And it right. would just be like doing funny photo shoots and stuff like that. And then after a month, documenting how much money we made on there but we we're like eh, i don't know if i really want to start an only fans there's still this stigma to it like where right. you're like doing the sex thing or whatever and now i'm like i just don't care <laughs> what can i find if i went on your only fans is like you with like a potted plant in front of you or what is it there's, well, there's like creative ways of blocking my actual <laughs> penis from being in the shot yeah but there's uh, there's also photos where i'm half chubbed in my underwear like sitting down and you can right see I know you outline of penis <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't look at any friends only fans. Why not? <laughs> I weird. was sub to Todd's just so I could like you know. I've never give seen Corinna's. I've never seen Aaron's. Give him commentary. Same. There's something about that. Well, Corinna's is too want. expensive for me. I would subscribe, but it's twenty dollars. So <laughs> I got a discount for you. You got a discount code? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I subscribed to Harry Jowsey's and Tana Mojo's though because they were free at first. So like I just was like, what is this? How are they working this? You right. Know? How are they work? I, I you know I think Todd's made more money on his OnlyFans than I've made on Nash Nation, <laughs> 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 and he hasn't tried once. That's yeah. not true. Um, a fun documentary would be would be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's like, really dramatic. Like, should we do it? Get half chubbed up and take this photo? Maybe not. <laughs> That'd be a cool documentary. I agree. That'd be Maybe fun. Not. And aside from that, it's also like beneficial for me. Like it got me really motivated to get in really good shape too. I was like, I'm, I'm posting happened? like my body here. <laughs> <laughs> I got into like the you seasonal depression right after Halloween. I got into the seasonal depression where I wake up and I want to drink every day and I just feel like shit. But I think, I think people really like your depression. And, and and that's why it's stuck with them for and five I mean years. That, what'd you say? That's why it's stuck with them for five years. <laughs> I think people really relate to your depression because I know a lot of people. Because I, I know when I was depressed, I would watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not alone. No, I know. There was honestly like, there's people, been stuff where like I post where I look happy and people are like, I'm happy that he's happy, but like he's just not the same anymore. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. He's happy. What a cruel comment. I miss when he made jokes about like running outside to catch the shooter so that he could get shot. <laughs> Are you still depressed? I'm not depressed. I'm actually, I don't think I've ever really been like depressed. I'm more prone to anxiety than depression. Uh -huh. But I say seasonal depression because I lose like motivation to do shit. So when we, when we like all go out and shoot stuff, me, John, and John, me, Todd, and Joe, and we call you <laughs> and, you know, usually don't want to go. And on the days that you do go, are you sad that you went? Are you, do you regret going? You can be honest. Um, it depends on what we do. The TMZ tour bus fucking sucked ass. All right, stop bringing up the TMZ tour <laughs> bus. Yeah, that was right, the tough one. The TMZ tour bus was terrible. It just depends on what we do. And also my like social battery, because I'm so used to not doing that much outside of my house, runs out really quickly. Like It's like uh -huh. one of those things where like I need to build up the tolerance to it so that I can spend more time out. Uh -huh. Today's podcast is brought to you by NetSuite. Thank you, NetSuite, for coming back. 2000, 2008. 2022 when it comes to the economy those are some scary years dot com crash housing crash and the roller coaster we're going through right now one thing is certain it's a dangerous time to not know your numbers but over 31,000 businesses have the confidence and clarity they need because they rely on NetSuite by Oracle the number one cloud financial system guys we all know how important it is as a business owner I'm a business owner here I do can you believe it I own this business and it's so important to stay organized. It's so important to have all your finances in one place, to know what's going on, how much money is going in, how much is coming out, and that's what NetSuite will provide for you. And that's why I love this company. NetSuite gives you the ability and control of your financials, inventory, HR planning, and budgeting, so you can manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. Everything you need all in one place. So how do you prepare for uncertain times? The answer, NetSuite. NetSuite helps you Identify rising costs, automate your business processes, and easily see where to save money. Guys, 93% of customers say they've improved their visibility and control when they've upgraded to NetSuite. What are you waiting for? Right now, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind special financing program. Head to netsuite.com slash Nash right now. netsuite.com slash Nash. That's netsuite.com slash Nash. And my thanks to NetSuite for sponsoring this podcast.
Guys, today's podcast is brought to you by Blue Chew. Yeah, Blue Chew. Okay, guys, you know it's all about confidence when it comes to sex. And what a better confidence booster than a fun round with your partner. All courtesy of the chewables from BlueChew.com. What is BlueChew.com? Well, let me tell you something. I'll tell you about it. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Guys, you know what we're talking about here. We're talking about boner pills. That's what we're saying, but they're chewable. There is nothing worse than when you want to go into the bedroom and you want to have a little sex and you're just not, I don't know, you're just not feeling your best, right? You want to perform, you want to do well, and that's why I highly recommend Blue Chew. And now, they also have Verdinafol mint-flavored chewables with the active ingredient in Levitra and Staxon, so you can stay hard and fresh. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew's license Licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare ship to direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And don't forget the special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. When you use our promo code GOODTHINGS at checkout, just pay $5 in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code GOODTHINGS. That's all one word to receive your first month free. We saw Bo Burnham today. What? Yeah. You saw Bo Burnham? Just walking in Studio City. Bo oh, Burnham's what? cool. I remember one time I went to a show with Elton Caste and Bo Burnham was there. Yeah. And Elton's like, just don't talk to Bo. He hates finers. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Cool. Funny. He vines too, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Who have you met? What celebrities have you met, Scott? Uh, Bo Burnham. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, the, the creator. Oh, uh, he hated me in the ass. You guys met Tyler, the creator. Met That's like Charlie's seven. number, 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 number one. Well, mine's uh, Tyler Joseph. Well, he's cool too, but I I was like blacked out drunk when I met Tyler, the creator, and I was we like super him. obnoxiously like my that persona for that Vine persona. I like walked up. I was like, hey, hey, say something Tyler, the creator would say. And he was like, all right. You fucking suck. <laughs> like, it wasn't a joke at all. Like, I didn't even say hi before I walked up with a camera in his face, and I feel so terrible about it. Like, oh, really? I woke up the next day, and I was like, oh, man, I did that. Yeah, we all make those mistakes. It was bad. Everybody has those days. Especially with a camera. You give me the first time you're vlogging and stuff, you don't know. No, it's his phone. It was my phone. Like a... Like a vine. You know, like, I get someone coming up and being like, hey, can I get a picture? But I didn't ask. I right. just, like, walked up filming. I'm like... I was like I like when you're like hunched over sometimes after like a long run or hike, people are like, hey, Jason, what's up? And they take photos of you. When know, I was hunch- throwing up that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, she took a selfie. We were on a hike and I, I threw up and the girl took a selfie. <laughs> I, was up. I was like, <gasps> I mean, I would do that because I think it's funny like between us, but like a stranger doing it. Yeah. Right. You know, I'd expect you guys to whip out your camera while I'm throwing up after a workout. Yeah. But that's the cool thing about YouTube is they, they think they know you like, that used to happen with David a lot. Like, I'd be rolling around with him, and and someone would be like, you old piece of shit. And then I'd get, like, mad. And I'd be like, yo, fuck that kid. Just call me an old piece of shit. And then David would explain to me. He's like, nah, Jay, you don't get it. He's like, he likes you. <laughs> he feels like he's part of it. Which it's, is I, true, which is a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's a bad thing. It's a double-edged sword, I think, really, the way that uh, a YouTube fan base will look at you and be like, we're friends. We hang out at home. I watch you on TV, yeah. so like we are pals, and like we're not like Leo DiCaprio, you know. <laughs> we're almost there. It's we like, were, we are. We play exaggerated forms of ourselves yeah. instead of like roles in a movie. So it's like these are yeah. char- like actual real life characters. So I actually do know what this person is like, and what yeah, yeah, that, and that's a tough thing too. Is when you're in, in those vlogs, they were like, <clears throat> you don't really want to kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, most of the time. But, but <laughs> like, I really don't. I don't get like a blowjob in the back of the Tesla all the time. Right, you know. That right. Was Although the, that did really happen. That was just yeah, a, no, yeah, a moment no, caught time, on yeah. camera. Wow. That was a crazy moment. Yeah, yeah. That that's we're uh, going to Vardown's uh like thirteenth birth like tenth uh, birthday I think. Uh wow, that's that's crazy. W- what what is some of the things that I don't know like what where what, have you met anyone uh, famous that you, you liked? Um, 
Um, <laughs> that's a terrible question. <laughs> you like? Have I met yeah. Steve-O? I liked. Have you met anyone famous that you can tell us about? Um, you have good fame interactions. Like, like, good, you know, like I met. I met Steve Martin once. Oh, wow. And you met Steve, Steve Martin? Yeah, and you never have a good interaction. That's crazy. I, I stopped meeting people now. I won't I won't say yeah. hi to anybody. Was Steve Martin cool? He was super cool, but like, yeah. you know, I was in his face and it's not cool. Damn. At all. Oh, I asked Jason Alexander to read my script once. I did really dumb stuff. You were I met, ambitious. I met Chappelle once, but I knew not to say anything. Damn. Uh, I had dinner next to Chappelle once. You did? At Craig's. He was like, from from you to me, I had like my eyeline He's towards best. Chappelle. Yeah, it was crazy. If Leonardo DiCaprio called you and was like, I need you to suck my dick <laughs> so I can live, would you do it? Oh, so we can live? Yeah. Do I get a movie role out of it at least? Well, you'd probably be really good friends with him. Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, as long as you clean all that dick cheese off of him, then yeah, definitely. You love Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. I should have I should have started with that. Yeah. Who's your Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> I don't know, but I met someone in the same place Leonardo DiCaprio likes to go. Delilah, I met uh, oh, uh, The weekend. We saw oh. I didn't know it was The weekend when oh, I... Oh, you didn't? Yeah. yeah so he he kicked us out of the table. <laughs> well, he told me he liked the table and he wanted it. And then the waiters came over later. And said, "I'm sorry, we need to switch you to a different table." But like when he when he told me that he wanted the table, I was like, "Huh?" Like because you didn't know who he was. He, I didn't know who he was. His, right. his hair had just been cut from like the original weekend hair, so yeah. it was just a guy and like five other guys that came up to the table. And I was like, "It's just kind of intimidating." I'm like <laughs> sitting here by myself while everyone else is at the bar, <laughs> like, and I just was told, "I want your table. <laughs> Give it to me." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> but. uh yeah, all's, all's fair in love and war. We move tables. <clears throat> um, I can't I remember re everything. Jay, go ahead. You've been in LA for a long time. You've been yeah. like the parties and like Too the, whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Are you are you tired of it? Of LA? Not like, that's like, um, much of a pretentious question, but like, like you don't need no. to do like the parties or anything anymore, right? Like, no, I don't go to parties. You go to a party but, tonight? <laughs> I'm gonna go tonight. Oh, okay, <laughs> so you do like <laughs> LA for? Well, a I, I I do like it because it, uh, it's my work is in, embroiled in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like tonight I'll go and I'll make yeah. Snapchats or maybe I'll film something for the vlog. So I do I do still like it. You know, I just need to go to bed early. Like yeah, Zane's starting that party at ten tonight. <sighs> and that's I saw ten. I was like I got really scared. A ten is late. Yeah, man. <laughs> right? It is late. I mean, stay till like eleven thirty. Right. Yeah, you got to be home before midnight just so your carriage doesn't turn back into a pumpkin. Yeah. This is called Never Have I Ever with Scott and Todd. Here we go. Never have I ever hooked up with a friend's girlfriend. Hooked up with a <laughs> friend's Todd's got a faint. <laughs> Come on, man. You spread chlamydia through Long Beach State. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like during the relationship or after? Yeah. Uh, yeah, after. What do you guys think about that? I, I I think that's a no go. After, yeah, no, for for sure. Yeah, like if you hooked up with Natalie after, <laughs> I'm not saying we're gonna break up, but it depends on if it was like a casual hookup prior thing or if it was like an actual full on relationship. Ah, uh, 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 you think that a relationship's we've, okay? We've, we've hooked up with the same people before. You have? A have few, you seen a few different people? When we were 22, really? we tried to date the same girl. You did? Yeah, because we saw the movie Savages. What's that about? It's two about guys two date guys to date one girl. <laughs> <laughs> and who did she choose? Both, Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time? Yeah. Blake Lively's in it. Wait, 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 wait. Savages, so we're still talking about the movie. You up with this girl at the same time. Oh, no, we're talking about the movie. No, we, we never actually did that. You guys have never done that, right? No. 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 We've had uh, sex in the same bed. You have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with, uh, with, with each, each other. other. <laughs> <laughs> we actually high-fived. We were just next-door neighbors <laughs> at that time. <laughs> no way. Isn't that awkward? No, it was actually oh. pretty cool. It was in the morning. We were still kind of drunk and hazy. And the girls were best friends, too. <laughs> That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's something I have never could do. I could never have sex with another guy in the room. Really? I don't think so. How are you ever going to shoot a porno? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> uh, like POV, no, like you film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never have ever shit my pit. Huh? Oh, they never answered? Uh, I think the answer was no. Uh, uh, yeah, never never hooked up with a friend's girlfriend. Never have ever shit my pants. I have. Where? In my wetsuit. When I was surfing. <laughs> and it was kind of on purpose, right? No, I just couldn't. It, my stomach hurt, and it just leaked out. 
It's not a bad place to shit your pants. It was just tra- it was trapped in my wetsuit. I, I went out. <laughs> Maybe it is. I was I was hung over the night before, and I had a coffee and a green juice. And then <laughs> a coffee and a green juice. I was actually Ooh. with Julian. You are. Yeah, our trainer Julian, and my stomach dropped as we paddled out. I'm like, oh my god, my like, Julian, I gotta go. There's no bathrooms on the beach, so I'm walking up to my truck waiting for him, and I just like I could not hold it. And I get home, go in the shower to pull my wetsuit off, and it starts coming out. And I start throwing up. Why were you throwing up? Because there was shit <laughs> inside was like of a wetsuit shit. stuck to his body. It was fucking oh, disgusting. So you can't smell it until you unzip no, it. Actually, it. The wetsuit's wetsuit on your body, like, like, right. just, like to your, stuck oh, to so your body. So it's a really bad place to shit your pants, actually. It's perfect because it's not leaking anywhere. It's in the same spot. <laughs> but once just, you take it off, it's like, boom, just in your face. Emanating in it. Scott, you, almost, you won't top that story. I can't so. top it. That's I definitely have. It's just in the form of like a shart or something, you know, like a <laughs> Never have ever stolen something. I have. From where? A heart. Liquor stores. Yeah. Lots I've of beers. Stolen did, something. Did you get caught? No. Never got caught. Well, I mean, like, they knew who I was when <laughs> I ran out. Like it oh. wasn't it wasn't like sneaky. I walked in and I was like I would grab a case of beer and be like, I'm taking and then run I'm taking this and run out the door, get in the car and my friend would drive away. When what? I was, when I was like seventeen, eighteen. You, I you, went, you announced I'm taking this a couple of times, and <laughs> <laughs> there was there was one liquor store like it wasn't a Seven Eleven it was just like a corner shop yeah. liquor store and I walked in and I was like you wouldn't mind if I just walked out with this would you and the guy was like yeah I would I have a gun in the cabinet or, or like in this drawer and he like <laughs> reached for it and I was like all right I'm gonna leave it <laughs> but a lot of times I would like get drunk run out of beer and we'd be like how do we get beer and then. They drive me, and I'd be like, "You'd be the guy." I'd be the guy. So you, you were, you were a little more brave than Todd. In the early days, I was a little bit more of like a fuckhead. I think. Uh huh. We would steal stepdad's alcohol because he owned a bar. Oh. I don't want to say steal. Like oh. it was just kind of in the garage. We were. It was like not we like take. we would take. Did you work at the same bar? No, Todd. Todd came and worked at my stepdad's bar with me a couple nights just for fun. Yeah. I think. Like never have I ever lied to my current girlfriend. I would like to say never, but never, but maybe like of course you have. Maybe I I, I came, but I didn't come. <laughs> I I, I that's always interesting, huh? Yeah, I yeah. Haven't really lied, but one Where time I it? accidentally <laughs> lied. <laughs> what is it? Well, uh, I dressed out twice earlier, so it's probably just shooting blanks. <laughs> Sometimes that is interesting when you're just like, you're just like, I I don't need to come, right? Uh, yeah, it's I'm, well that. I don't know if that's the case for me, but for me that happens like the third <laughs> the third round. If you're going like for a third, and then a you third, and you just third can't, you better subscribe to his OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going three rounds. I'm lucky if I get one off. You know how how, how hard it is to to masturbate. I know how hard new, Scott gets. A new place. <laughs> Sorry. I see you subscribe. Yeah, I have, I have a secret. Do do I know how hard it is to what? You ever live um, with a girlfriend and, and her? her her mother and their assistants in the house. I never live with my girlfriend and her mother. I can't and the fu- and the dog. I I can't jerk off anywhere in peace. <laughs> I, at my old house, I used to have like my like just like I was so tucked away in my room. I can just lay on my floor. I thought you have a studio. You have a whole room for yeah, streaming. B- yeah, but I can't jerk off in there because you can hear everything. Right, Todd, I have a pocket pussy. <laughs> get, I have a pocket get pussy. Headphones. Get get earpods. I want a pocket pussy. No, Is that but, fun? But you can hear like the. Jesus, you're a big guy. Do you put like gel in there <laughs> or anything? It's dick. Yeah, I have such gel. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> you, know, you know, Matt King, Matt King, before I moved out, he comes into my room and he's like, hey, you got any, any more of that lube? <laughs> <laughs> so I let, I let Matt borrow my lube and he comes back and he's like, it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> really great lube, Todd. Uh, <laughs> farted and ever, ever, ever farted and blamed someone else? That's a silly one. I do that all the time. Yeah. I blame the cat. <laughs> um, never have I ever used a dating app. I have. You have I, too. I never have, oh. like, actually. I used it, like, ironically once, where I was just like, I was like. Oh, so you guys are so hot, you don't need dating apps. That's interesting. Exactly. Damn. Yeah. That must be nice. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> no? Well, why wouldn't you use a dating app? Because they're, they're just bad. No, I don't think they're bad. I feel like they are every- bad. Oh, well, I mean, I don't like them. I like, met my so current girlfriend on a dating app. Cool. See, that's, you're, you're you're giving me whiplash right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what do I, I say? say? <laughs> I don't think that they are bad. I just don't right. see the point in them for myself, I guess. But I don't think it's because I'm good looking. I think it's because we have so many like connections 
where we go out and we see people all yeah. the time. Like that, I, which is always better. Yeah, I just don't like. I don't think it's necessary. Never have I ever been uh, kicked out of a bar. Well, we know the answer to that. Have we? Uh, uh, you you didn't get kicked out of that bar that we got in that bar oh, yeah, fight was, with the people who work I was at the deep bar. In that bar mingling. <laughs> Yo, remember? So, me? Did, did we got in that bar fight <laughs> and fucking? We're we're like halfway down the street after getting our asses beat. Also beating some ass, but we had just got our yeah. asses beat. And Todd's like, "Bro, you guys fucking left without me." <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, we were looking for you, man, but you wouldn't. We could have used your help." <laughs> I had no idea they were getting in a fight. Meanwhile, like the other two guys, we had like Joe and Jay were down at the bar across the street. Todd is deep inside this bar, like talking to three right. chicks, and then fucking. <laughs> <laughs> has the nerve to be mad at me for leaving without him. I remember you guys got no fight in the, at a bar in Hollywood, and then you went back the next week, and everything was cool. Yeah, we loved the den. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't that what happened? I don't know if it was the next week. I think we might have taken it. That bar on Sunset. Yeah. 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 That bar on Sunset. <laughs> you just you just show up, and they're like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't it's, know. All, it's all good? It was weird. It was a weird situation. Is that how that, is that, how that works? I guess. I mean, I wasn't really involved. I mean, technically... That is how that should work, you know? When people get into, like, a drunk, little stupid, little yeah, bar fight, it should it. be all good. You guys yeah. are homies Let the next day. Think about, like, an Irish pub, you know? In, like, the Boondock Saints, you picture a big boot bar fight or whatever, and then people come back the next day, and they're like, oh, that was a good one last night. You got me good with that bottle, man. You cracked me. Uh, never have I ever created a fake Instagram to stalk an ex. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never have done that. Yeah. I made some fake Instagrams. I did make a Scotty Snap archive pretending to be a fan, but it's actually me. <laughs> I told you to do that. Why would we you talked about doing that. Why would you do that? Because I feel like there's nobody posting my Snapchats on the Instagram. Snapchats are gold. And they need to be seen. <laughs> Why don't you just post your Snapchats on Instagram? No, he's like talking about like, like tagging him in the photos so people see his Snapchats. Uh, uh, oh, like a fan oh, account. Oh, I yeah. see, I see. I've made a couple of fake Instagram accounts. You have? Yeah. I He's have. also asked me to stalk the exes who have blocked him occasionally. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. What did he do? Use my account to look at someone. Oh, <laughs> you have quite quite the list of exes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> my man. My <laughs> man. Uh, never have ever snooped through your partner's phone. Not this partner. You, you don't. You don't seem like you guys would do that. <laughs> no, uh, I haven't done that. Because I wouldn't want to know. No. Oh, old partner, yeah, for sure. I would to. rather just be. <laughs> I would rather. Oh, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just be like stupid and not know. If someone's cheating on me, I don't want to know. Yeah, I. I mean, I feel that same way too. I'm like, well, if it happens, it happens, and then we break up. But if I'm like constantly worrying about it, then what's right? Like, why? Like, if they're cheating on you, then it's like, okay, it's done for. Yeah, and it'll end at some point. Uh, never have ever had a threesome. I have. I have. Okay, guys. <laughs> Do not be embarrassed about it. It was in Bellingham. Oh, I remember. Mine wasn't at Bellingham. <laughs> All right. This is a little game called uh, Truth or Cricket. Okay. Wow. You're going to say a truth. I'd like you guys to take one cricket in your hand. This is Truth or Cricket. We had live crickets when Natalie was here. Fuck. But they all got away. <gasps> Todd, who would you date in the group if you weren't dating your girlfriend? <laughs> Truth or cricket? Um, guy or girl? <laughs> yeah, guy or girl. <laughs> uh, Jonah. Uh, jo you and Jonah would be a funny couple. I think yeah, Jonah and I would be a great couple. You would date Jonah? I would, I would if if I was swinging that way, I definitely date Jonah. What if you had to pick a girl? I feel like how many? What are the girls? What are the girls are left? Probably be Corinna. Oh, would I? I would have to go back with Corinna, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Susie, Susie or Corinna. Uh, yeah, maybe Susie. Okay. Scott, last text you sent. Read the last text you sent or eat the cricket. Oh, shit. Or eat the cricket. <laughs> Are they crunchy? The last text I sent. Yeah. I'd maybe just not go so I could get some rest anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for Zane? Yeah. Boring. It was, it was too... Oh, I, I read it like without my mic. Could you hear that? I don't know. <laughs> That's so you can't repeat yourself? Read a different text. <laughs> read a different text? Yeah. Maybe there's something better. Let me see if there's anything I can. I haven't really texted anyone today. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's time to take you out. 
Time to get you some friends. Uh, at 10.44 a.m., I texted, happy birthday, Zany boy, to Zane. <laughs> I said read a better one. <laughs> uh, at 12.05 p.m. My diarrhea medications came in. <laughs> Please put it on the shelf for me. Wow, that's crazy it said that. <laughs> I texted my editor, heck yeah, baby, because he said he was on it, on an edit. <laughs> All right, Scott, that's enough, I guess. I mean, I, I want to help you out here. Scott, uh, Todd, truth or cricket, most famous person you've hooked up with? Oh, shit. Wait, what did you oh, say? Oh, now? Probably Corinna. Oh, yeah, that's probably... Or Charlotte Delessio. Yeah. Very famous. Oh. Shay, okay, I didn't okay. That. I didn't know Scott. about that one. <laughs> da, damn. What about Nina Agdahl? Oh, wait, no, you just oh, met no, her. You Nina just Agdahl met her. kissed Sorry. me on the cheek when I met her. You know who? Nina Agdahl. I don't know who that is. Leah, uh, I think Logan Paul is dating her now. Oh. But she's like an old, like, not old, a model. Mm. Kind of older. I don't okay. think I have any famous people on my... Well, I mean, Jack... DJ or, Tiger Lily. Scott. Who? Thanks. DJ Tiger Lily. <laughs> he Tiger. just really wants to get it all out there. <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you hooked up with Michelle Obama? Hillary Clinton. <laughs> she's trying to get Bill back. Okay. Uh, Scott, who's your least favorite... Uh, friend in the group, Jonah. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, no cricket. I mean, I love him. He's just my least favorite. Okay, Todd, do you think your music is better than Scott's? <laughs> well, this doesn't really work because if he if he eats it, then he does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my, my music is my taste, and so personally, I, I like my music more. Okay, but Scott has that's some to- bangers. It's totally okay, fair. Yeah, that's yeah. totally fair. Thanks. I like some of Todd's songs a lot more than mine too. It's like. <laughs> Scott, do you think your music's better than Todd's? No, actually. What? Oh. I, I think that I have a couple of good songs, but I like the overall vibes of a couple of Todd's songs like actually more than mine. Nice. It's really nice to say that. Uh, uh, Scott, have you ever slid into a celebrity's DMs, and if so, who? No. No. Well, no. No. no I don't really do that. Um, Emma Rajkowski? I don't think I ever, ever. slid. I think Kim uh, Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Not, not, I'm not. Kendall. I think maybe Kendall a long time ago. <laughs> no way. Probably. But no way. We used to talk about this. Todd would always be like, oh, I love Kendall. You can have Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I legit thought I had a shot at one point. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I could see that. Um, I'm not a basketball player. Yeah, you, you could know what? be. The, 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 dating, dating an athlete is not that big of a deal. No, yeah. yeah. It's not, not that, that big of a deal. Like, you shouldn't feel intimidated. Oh, I'm not. I don't with my current uh. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she threw that in one night. She was like, yeah, you know, because when he was on the nets, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, Kevin Durant? I was like, he was on the nets? Nice. Like, what do you mean nets? Like, the net? Like, the internet? Like he, he was, he <laughs> the was, New Jersey nets? Is he a crab fisher? Like, he was working the nets? Uh, the nets? <laughs> Deep blue sea? That does make you feel, like, inferior. Yeah, a little bit. An athlete. I was totally lying when I said it's not a big <laughs> deal. It is. Oh, Todd, what is your net worth? My net worth. You guys aren't going to eat this cricket, are you? <laughs> My does net worth include, is negative does, right does now. It in, does it include investments and yeah. retirement? Yeah. Probably like a few hundred thousand. Okay. All right. Scott, what's the most amount of money you've ever received for a brand deal? Ooh. Truth or cricket? The most amount of money I ever received for a brand deal, like not the back catalog thing, a different not brand the back deal. catalog because that's crazy. But I, I already got that out of here. My largest brand deal, I believe, was one hundred ten thousand dollars for an AT and T deal. That's a lot. Or was it? It was it like an AT and T clean up the straws deal. I remember that. Is that the Super Bowl deal? No, no, no separate. One hundred and ten thousand dollars, and what did, would you have to post? It was like three YouTube videos, make a song, and like attend events and do a couple other things. Mine was Smirnoff. How much? 130? 125? 125? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was over the course of like a year. Oh, should we do these Would You Rathers? I didn't know you had those too. I was going to eat the cricket. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with that game. Oh, you're going to you eat the cricket. <laughs> yeah. That's good. It's good? Not really, but it's fine. Uh, okay, Todd, would you rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or a 3 with an amazing personality? <laughs> Can we divorce her? Yeah. Let's go marry with a 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. 
What? You see, that's not true. No, I wouldn't. I mean, you're not uh, like that. Well, no, what no, kind of terrible that, no, personality, yeah, yeah, though? You know what I don't her. like about Todd? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I eventually divorced her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't show yourself enough as to who you are and on YouTube because, like, like, and and you know what I noticed it was when we did the transformation video and you you. In the video, it was like, oh, Todd is the one. It wasn't Ilya that got Jason shape. It was actually Todd. And people just love that about you. Mm. So you should show that side more of you. Because that's, that's not really your answer. You're being yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shows that on, like, Twitch and stuff where it's, like, long form. But on, on YouTube, does. it's always, like, artsy and creative and kind of, like, more of, like, a... A jokey manner. Jokey manner. Yeah. No, oh, if I'm married to a girl, I want to have fun with her and... You know, have a good personality. Yeah. But, we'll get some but not with stuff a three. Done, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 should be like a, like a six? A three's kind of low, Jess. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it should be like, what about like a California five? <laughs> California five. California five is like a nine everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she said a California five is a nine everywhere else. It's a very funny line, Jess. We'll get you a mic, but I think I'm afraid you'll take over the whole podcast. Scott, would you rather see 10 minutes into the future or 20 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? Well, that's a twister, Jess. Well, I don't know how to answer that. Would you rather see 10 minutes into your own future? So 10 minutes from now, you're getting up and you're leaving. It sounds like useless. Yeah, it sounds useless. <laughs> or 20 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself. Do I get to use this power whenever I want? Or is it like I get, okay, 10 minutes into my future whenever yeah, okay. then for sure. Scott, uh, Todd, would you rather be a terrible kisser or terrible in bed? Terrible kisser. Scott, have you... But then how would you ever get into bed? I just <laughs> hope and pray. My, my <laughs> silly jokes get me there. Yo, what did you say at the fucking Taylor Swift concert the other night that was like the most 60-year-old mom thing I've ever heard? She goes, we went to the Taylor Swift concert because I surprised him with tickets. <laughs> Harry, Harry. Or whatever, or the fuck we were. Because it's all a blur. It all goes us on Snapchat. <laughs> and we're walking out. It was fun. I enjoyed the concert a lot. And we're walking out, and they're playing All the Leaves Are Brown as like a closing, like over the PA. Yeah. Harry's gone. And it's like a nice song to walk out to. And then it goes, and it goes, If I was in LA. And then Jess goes, Jess goes, Oh my God. And we are in LA. <laughs> 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 it was the most mom thing. She was just really happy from the concert. You should have seen these three drooling over Taylor. They love Swift. Harry. I mean, where the fuck were we? <laughs> Same Taylor. <laughs> Harry. Taylor. Taylor looked like she was gonna fucking jump the stage. <laughs> he would finish the song and she would go, "Oh my god!" Now, were they all One Direction fans? Were Before? you? No. Oh, you were. So that's who wasn't. You know, <laughs> Scott. Would you rather have your parents see your sex tape or watch your parents' sex tape? Have them see mine. Hell yeah. Nice. Really? I feel like it would be more enjoyable for them than for me. <laughs> Scott's dad like, that's my son. Whoa, Scott, you're lacking in the department that I helped. I thought I was going to give you, but you're so good. Scott, he'd be like, Scott, my dick's a lot bigger than yours. <laughs> Scott's stepdad has a big dick? No, his dad would say that. Oh, his dad. Hey, Scott, his dad. My, my, you didn't get my cock. My dad actually did that once. I passed out in a... <laughs> yeah, I passed out in my bathtub after I got home from a night out drinking, and they, he called like the fire department and had to like drag me out of the bathtub because I wouldn't wake up. Um, the fire department came. Yeah. Wow. Because he like he couldn't wake me up. He was like, is he like dead? Scared, yeah. Um, bath salts. And bath salts. like a week later, I was like, I made a joke about having a big dick. He's like, you can't make big dick jokes about me. I I, I just I just saw it last week, son. It was not. <laughs> he sounds like a blast. He's funny. He's funny. He's a he funny guy. Really funny. Um, let's see. Uh, Todd, would you rather have a sugar daddy or be a sugar daddy? <laughs> I want to be a sugar daddy. Okay. Vibes. Scott, Vibes. would you never have sex again or never be able to use the internet again? <laughs> never be able to use the internet again. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's to hear a, that. That's Good a tough job. one. But yeah. Yeah. I did too. that. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's actually really tough because that is my livelihood. Yeah. But I, I think that I could change careers if, if I got to keep having sex. I would choose internet. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you've, you've almost got to the stage where the, the penis is gone anyways, right? <laughs> this is, that's why I would choose it. <laughs> would you rather date someone who is boring in bed but has an amazing personality or someone who is amazing in bed but has a boring personality? How often do you get laid? Three times a week. 
Make it five. <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited international first class ticket or never have to pay for food again? Wait, oh. are we going to answer that one? Oh, yeah, you can answer it. Oh, well, I would choose the girl. Oh, fuck. Amazing personality, amazing terrible personality, in bed. Terrible bed. I mean, I think amazing guys, personality, terrible in bed because you get you get off either way. <laughs> she's like, it's like kind of like laying there. Okay, Scott. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, like, Scott, in the relationship, you got to enjoy everything around the sex. But as a dude, it's like really easy for you to. Yeah, we're, we're easy to yeah. come. We're easy yeah. to please, you know. Well, not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited international first class international tip? flights? I never have to pay for food again. International flights, first class. Oh, so you're good with paying for food? Yeah, I've never paying for food again. You could buy all the flights you wanted. Bro, first. Never pay for first food class, again. First class tickets are like first international. Class international. You can only go once a year internationally. Oh, you didn't say that. Well, I mean, how many times are you going to take off? What the I'm, fuck, man? You, you really only go once a year? Yeah, once a year. Well, I didn't know I didn't say that because that's, that's not the thing. But. Are you, you're cucking me right now. Really? <laughs> you're a cuck. All right, fine, fine. International tickets. It's Christina! I feel like you get a little bit more value out of those international. This is like, like there's some $60,000 fucking flights yeah. to Singapore and shit that I'd be taking. You eat every day. Yeah. Yeah, but, you go to Air One, though. We don't. Oh, <laughs> I actually just signed up for a membership there. <laughs> it's so good. I told him about you, what you did for us. What did I do? You paid for our, our meals that one day with you. Yeah. <laughs> you spent your loyalty rewards <laughs> rewards on your friends. Yeah, loyalty is a tough word. Lo- loyalty, loyalty especially rewards. loyalty rewards is a tough word. It's really, it's spent, it's really you tough spent for your loyalty people. rewards. When you go to, when you, I shop at the store Erwan, and you get ten percent off every time you pay. And so then I had a hundred and seventy nine dollar credit over a few months. Yeah, you get like ten percent cash back. Yeah. Right? And so I went in and I bought Todd and Jess lunch and I was like really happy and I shot a YouTube video and I thought it was really cool. And then as I was eating lunch, I realized that I spent $1,700 at Air Juan over the last three months. Joe's cameras in your face. Ah, you spent $1,700? You're yeah. spending it on us? It's a grocery store though. It's fine. Like you, you buy healthy food, you buy groceries. Oh. I know it's more expensive than oh. other places, but like I can... Uber eats a fucking meal for from sushi sushi place or a burger place, and I'm spending sixty bucks on like one meal. Right, you're doing the same thing at Erewhon, and it's just like healthy, and you're getting that ten percent cash back. Right. Would you rather have more time or more money? More time. Yeah, time would, has wings, man. More Would you rather time. be four five or seven seven? Shit, seven seven. I, I know what Ilya's going through with that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even get two girls of his dreams. Seven Seven's just crazy, can, though. Seven Seven would be nuts. You'd be like a musician, like everyone just look at you. You couldn't be in here. If you had to pick one of your exes <laughs> to to be with for the rest of your life, who would you pick? Day in and day out. And you can't get divorced. I, if you had to pick one of your exes. Is, mm. One of my exes. Um, are you talking to me or Scott? You've got the exes here. <laughs> so does he. I've got exes. I don't know who his exes. I, I only know one. It's like a weird question YouTube for me, though, because, like... Yeah, it is weird. That's why I asked it. <laughs> <laughs> who am I supposed to... Okay, what? Well, Corinna has a million, billion There's no bucks. good answer. There's no you're good fucked. answer. Don't answer it. I feel like I have to answer it. Natalie said your penis was it's small not even on truth the or podcast cricket, she was on, so <laughs> go ahead. Okay, Stop. I'm going to let you off the hook, because I love you, and you got me in shape. Oh, are you sure? I was going to answer it. Okay, go. Uh, hey, I'm good now. Go, go, okay, I, I don't know. Okay. That's a weird one, you know. Like, um, but who would you say? Because if I go one way, I I could I could live with Corinna. You you have kind of already. I yeah, mean, I mean, like I I I <laughs> I, 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 I think I, I, obviously I would never, you know, we, I, she would never want to date me. I'd never want to date her. But I think I would know how to handle Corinna. Yeah, I knew how to handle her. Yeah, you, you know? did too. Oh, psh, psh. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, I mean, but she would be like a sugar mama. So I like, think Corinna's you know? great. Yeah, no, she's she's great. Yeah. Um, and you know what? She. But I feel like these will be clipped. Yeah, out yeah, of context, yeah, yeah. which is I don't care. And, it's and that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna get me in. It's gonna be clipped. I know how to handle Corinna. Cut to the other shit. No, I mean. She's great. I was the one that ruined Olivia it. O'Brien. Also lovely. She's lovely, beautiful but, girl. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, and, and singer. Pops, that, popstars are pop star. That's really cool. That's a, it's really cool. Yeah, Did she yeah. ever write your song? I hate you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wrote songs about you. Yeah, no, no, she didn't have a song about me. <laughs> All the songs came after we broke yeah. up. Actually, <laughs> no, she. Uh, I was. I was like. I, th- I think too nice to her, or she didn't write any. Have to write write any songs. Uh, you know, uh, 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 so uh, that was kind I, of a pussy. I, I, what? No, I said I was kind of a pussy in the oh, you're kind of, Okay, It was too nice to her. Well, I she thought it was crazy. I said I really hit that pussy. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that, that, that Tame Impala song that can't even listen to Tame Impala, I was like, 
How is that not though? Because that that was like when you went through your huge Tame Impala phase. <laughs> what Tame like, Impala song? Can't even listen to Tame Impala. Wait, well, she has a song about Tame Impala. Yeah, but it was oh, it's and not. Todd loved Tame Impala. But it is not about Todd. But it was no, like no, no, yeah. I was like, but that phase was like. You know, one time. time I one time I saw her um, in a nail salon with Father Callis, and I walk in, and I'm like, you gotta yeah. be fucking kidding me. And then I start I start singing. Um, what are girls doing in a nail salon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Right, what the fuck are they doing okay, here? That you know that? I'm trying to get my fucking man Manny Petty and eyebrow wax on. Yeah, we know you got to take care of those eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but I started singing like one of her songs to her, and she's like, she's like, "That's not about you." <laughs> Is that but what I'm she like, said? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I know, I'm just kidding. But it was really, it was funny. That's really funny. Did she write good or bad? Did she write any? Songs about you? Do you know? No, she didn't. She didn't. Know. Okay. You know, as as far as you know. As far as I know. Yeah. Did you a girl ever write a song about you, Scott? That'd be really cool if a girl wrote a song about you. I think. Yeah. I think Taylor Swift wrote "You Belong with Me" about me. <laughs> you belong. <laughs> Todd, do you find it funny that Scott complains about money, but it has been documented uh, post mating an Apple Watch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't post mate anything. I owe forty thousand dollars on the credit card that we used for my merch company that I shut down two years ago. Still. Why? Because my brother didn't tell me that we had a credit card bill until after we shut down the company. I, th- I thought we were paying it off Oh no! as we went. I owe $100,000 of taxes for 2021. Oh, my God, Scott. That's why I'm we're not good with money. Things. You should have took that co- I can class. Com- I can complain about not having money because I don't. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm not either. I, I pay Jess 15000 a week. That's yeah. good for you, Jess. Uh, can we borrow some money? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Subscribe to Scott's OnlyFans. Guys, this is, I'm going to play Truth or Cricket now. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me just say, too, before I forget, I love you guys. Look, I love you, too. We, we love you. So much. And when you're together, you're my favorite duo. Sorry, Zane and Heath. Sorry, David and Nilia. It's this okay. Is, this is my absolute favorite. Nice. So always be friends. Always stick together because you guys, you're just so, so funny together. <laughs> and you guys have done so much for me. Todd, you've done a lot more for me than... Actually, he's. Oh, he actually, you did a lot for me. You, you got did all the a real lot for me. Waters. Well, you don't and, know and that Todd, you did. Todd does a lot for you. You guys wake up around the same time and you do activities together. It's fine. I understand that Todd is your closer friend now, and <laughs> it's it's all good. It's not it's about all who's good. closer. Who's You're definitely tail. closer. Oh, Scott. You're no, definitely when, when closer. When I moved into that house, I was so broke, and if you hadn't agreed to do that, I don't know what I would have done. Same. Hey, look. you know he lent me money when we were living at Denny. He I did? I had to borrow money from him, yeah. He's so bad with money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm nice. I'm generous. Scott is really generous. And so is Todd. But you're you're stupid with your money. But I'm, generous. Yeah, really bad. I give you cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we yes. love you too, Jason. I love you a Thank lot. You. Okay, Thank you so You've much. done a lot for me in my life. You're a very supportive yeah. person. Just to, to re recycle the Reciprocate. gassing up of the people. Reciprocate, Please. not gas recycle. You up. Gas me up. Jason, if you weren't getting me out there to hike, I'm 31 years old. I'd probably get fat. I saw some pictures of you, man, from a couple of years ago. I was chubbier, chubbier. a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. You're really, you're really. When I was on tour. I was work, getting chubby. The bot. Yeah, good. I was doing like shit. I'm glad I could help. Constantly a very supportive person. You, you know, you give people the drive to continue doing what they're doing because you're like, you're really good at that. You should keep doing it. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you think you're being fake, and then you're like, no, that's just actually Jason. He's a nice guy. <laughs> David would get so mad at me. I'd be like. David, your video is fucking awesome. Jason, you don't count. You love everything. Yeah, and then I, then Todd like walked in because Todd posted at the same time. I'm like, Todd, your video is fucking great. <laughs> David's like, what the fuck? Uh, truth or quick cricket? Go ahead, truth or cricket. Ask me something. You always want to ask me. <clears throat> Most famous person you've ever hooked up with? Uh, famous person? No. Never hooked up with this. What am I saying? Of course I haven't. <laughs> I forgot who I was for a second. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go check out Scott's YouTube channel, Scott's music. Go check out Todd's YouTube channel, Todd's music, their TikTok, everything. Uh, their music, both of their music's really great. You've got to put out some more songs. When can we see those songs? Next year? January 2020. Oh, that's soon. Four? Three. Three. It's in a month. Also, thank you for being on my shorts. There, I, I love being it. in your shorts. Yeah, right. Go check out Todd's Todd shorts. Go check yeah. out Scott's music catalog. Bro, uh, what else? Pot- I wish that when he said thank you for being on my shorts, you could do like a fucking office pan and your face was just all over <laughs> your shorts. That would have been sick. It was so funny the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for with being that. on my shorts. It's, it wasn't a closer. It was more of like, that's not a joke that I just made. That's like, uh, that would no, be, that would have been a good like... 
TikTok if it actually happened. We would have laughed if it was a joke. So yeah, <laughs> whatever. Fuck you, man. <laughs> um, what else? What else? And uh, your podcast, The Good Boys. Good Brett, boys, it's great. Not gonna make it with Scott. Scott, yeah, you're done. Are you you're still doing it. it? You should uh, watch it. I, I, you have a solo podcast. No, I, I just I'm not doing podcasts anymore. Okay, great. Except for, <laughs> except for this one. Yeah. Except, oh yeah, I'll be on other people's podcasts, and like occasionally, if I feel like talking to a microphone, then I'll record something and I'll yes. post it wherever I feel like it. Okay. All right, we love you guys. Thank thanks, you. Thanks Have a great watching. week. Love you guys. All right. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Fucker guys. Out.